it's Melvin Seven here, and I apologise uh, that this is late, better late than never, I suppose. But yeah, I've just been really, really busy, and in my own head, I'd already done this, uh, which just stupid. But anyhow, we've got a game against Istanbul later, of course. But yeah, so West Brom, uh, the the main talking points were the two penalties that were awarded first for West Brom and then a minute later for Manchester United. Now I'm going to be as unbiased as possible, but. You know, if you think I'm being biased, whatever, that's absolutely fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. So, the first penalty that was given for West Brom and then was revoked when the referee went to the monitor. Um, you know, I, I think the record's almost like 100, 200. Every team in the Premier League has had a penalty, I think, this season at least one. And yeah, it, it's it's on course to smash that record. Now, this one is such a, a light penalty, like a weak penalty. If this is a penalty, then why are you complaining about so many of the other ones that, you know, are just <laughs> worse than this, to be honest? But there's still debates over them, so... I, I just don't understand how you can say this one's a penalty. Um, yes, maybe if it's anywhere else in the on the pitch, it, it's a foul, but it's too... Penalty. Most people would say it's not, including me, but the law says it is, so the referee has to give it, and the referee does. And then the retake, um, if you remember, if you're a rival fan, you probably won't. If you're a, you're a United fan, you probably will. Uh, De Gea was about an inch off the line against Crystal Palace, and the penalty had to be retaken. Sam Johnston was about four yards off the line, so it's a clear retake when Bruno misses it. And what's funny is the one that Bruno scores... Johnston's also off the line, so if Bruno had missed, it would have got re-retaken, which just would have boiled everyone's piss even further. But yeah, that is in it is a penalty, and it's a retake with the letter of the law being the way it is. Whether you agree with that or not, it, it's black and white. It's set in stone. It's a penalty. So you know, I think the referee did a very good uh, job on both uh, penalty decisions. Now, it takes a lot of courage as well for a uh, referee to admit they made a mistake. He wouldn't do that if he didn't think it was a clear and obvious error in regards to West Brom's penalty, because he gave it first and then he went to the monitor and reversed his decision, which means he thinks he made, made a mistake after viewing it again, which is the whole point of a referee going to a monitor. So, you know, I, I, I applaud him and fair enough. Anyhow, Aside from that, the two man of the matches for either side, Sam Johnston, he made about 10 saves. He was prime Neuer, prime De Gea, prime Buffon, whatever you want to say. It's just insane how many goalkeepers turn up and do a performance like that at Old Trafford. Um, Bruno Fernandes was mesmerising in this game. It was a dull game by all, you know, all accounts. It, it was, I tweeted that after the game and I stand by that. But Bruno Fernandes, an interesting statistic. He made six key passes in this game, which is more than any other player in any game in the top five leagues this season, which is just incredible. It just goes to show how good he is. He could have had three or four assists today. I felt Martial was a little unlucky with his two chances. He could have maybe put them more into the corner, but they were both phenomenal saves by Sam Johnston, and I think both of them were played through by Bruno, so that could have been two assists there. And then his best save of the game, Sam Johnston, came from Rashford. Uh, I, I cannot remember who played the ball through, but it might have been uh, Bruno Fernandes. But yeah, Rashford's about five yards out. Again, like Martial, he didn't really do too much wrong with his finishing. Maybe, again, could have put it a little bit more in the corner, but it's not a bad finish.
leg. Um, you know, it, it's a brilliant save. De Gea didn't put a foot. as Matic and Fred did today on his own. Uh, Matic and Mata were poor today. Uh, Rashford was quite poor, but again, could have had a goal, uh, you know, if not for a ridiculous save by Johnston. Same with Martial, could have had a couple of goals if not for the save. Um, Cavani, when he came on, looked really, really good. And Martial, although, again, could have had two goals today uh, if it was Luke Shaw upped his performance. Then we bought Tears. Luke Shaw upped his performance even more. Now he's injured. Uh, of course, this is Tears' first Premier League outing. I don't think he did too much wrong. Um, there wasn't much for him to do, though, because I imagine he was instructed not to overlap, which is a little bit of a shame because uh, he's an attacking fullback and that's what he's best at. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, we ground out the result. But it, it's a fine balance of getting the result while still being entertaining, which is what Manchester United is all about. Now, we weren't entertaining today, but we did get the points, so it's about finding the balance. Uh, I also... like Mata offered absolutely nothing today and Donny could have quite easily started for him or Matic if we weren't playing two holding CDM so I really want Donny to be playing um, more regularly I imagine him and Edison Cavani will start today uh, Oli's got some really important decisions to make. We've got a very clustered schedule coming up over the next couple of weeks. Well, to be honest, for the rest of the season, really. Uh, but certainly up until about January. Leipzig and PSG are on six points. If Leipzig win, we're effectively qualified, almost anyway, because us and Leipzig will be on nine points. We'll only need one point to mathematically secure it, um, but... points off with a game in hand if we win that we're four points off i hate saying with a game in hand i imagine it's going to be december or january time that we play that game in hand which is of course the burnley game that uh, we couldn't play on game week one because we only had like one week of pre-season so we were granted that uh, extra week which is good um but yeah uh, hopefully we play that eventually because yeah i'm sick of saying with a, a game in hand but it's looking good it's looking better 
and we just need to keep getting points on the board and yeah we, we need to make sure that we win tonight in the Champions League so then you know our focus can switch to the Premier League because there won't be as much pressure the sooner we can get qualified or as close to qualified as we can then you know the, the easier it can be for Ollie